I really hold it in my heart that indigenous peoples know how to take care of this land because we've been here for time immemorial. And I mean, if we're still here, we're doing something right. We know what we're doing and that's why this work is so important. We're here in our third camp. We've had about 70 people and uh, 18 tribes represented. And so we're pretty excited about uh, the ability to help tribes think through climate impacts, plan for those, both from a traditional ecological knowledge standpoint, as well as through a Western science assessment, and then plan forward for the next couple hundred years. My name is Pio Pio Mox Mox. My English name is Donald Sampson and I'm the Affiliated Tribes of Northwest Indians Climate Change Project Director. Our vision for climate prepared tribes is that they understand a number of modeling scenarios because there's a number of different ways to look at climate impacts. There's kind of a worst case scenario and maybe there's a moderate case scenario. We want them to plan for each of those scenarios that they are prepared uh, regardless what happens. Climate impacts are happening now. They are already here and present in our communities. The time for action is yesterday. The time for action is tomorrow. You really do have to have more than one person from your community dedicated to working on this to be able to really have some kind of plan or movement to action. All tribes, all staff are always overloaded, not enough time, not enough funding people. And I feel like this gives a, a port in the storm of that activity to kind of be in a different setting and approach their plan from a, a frame of mind where they have time to focus on it. And not only focus, but have access to resources like people that are working in climate resiliency, indigenous sustainability, just anything to do with supporting and helping tribes advance in the, the way that they want to see them grow. So we've had tribes from throughout the U.S. at this most recent camp. Uh, we had the Seminole tribe from Florida, Micmac from Maine, we had Alaska natives. So a lot of different tribes coming together to share their collective knowledge. Each of those tribes come from different geographic areas experiencing different types of climate impacts. And when they can share how they're adapting and how they're assessing the impacts and what they plan to do, I think that's very powerful. In the United States, there are 573 tribes, of which only about 50 have done some assessment of climate impacts. So we've got a long ways to go, and I think these camps are allowing tribes to come together at a more rapid rate to begin sharing that knowledge with each other. I think this week was really great and I think a lot of the tribes that were here who were able to develop their actions for when they go home, whether that's an adaptation plan or getting together a resolution or even just starting community meetings talking about climate change. So I think the folks that were here this week ended up becoming really prepared to bring that back to their communities. It was truly invaluable to, to my community's planning process. Some of the foundations of our adaptation plan, which are our mission statement and our goals, were developed at Tribal Climate Camp. I think back to a, a tribal council back in the 1800s that our chief Oshkosh said, I wish to pursue a course which will be best for the children that will follow us. He was talking about me and my generation, and so that really inspires me to think, okay, what do I need to say? What do I need to do for generations that far down while still thinking about our own generation today? It might seem like a heavy task, but I think that's a responsibility that's been given to us and that we carry forward as we go into the future. <laughs>